What's going on YouTube? Come back at you with another video. Okay, so 40 Glock, big update in his prostitution case. Now there seems to be a light at the end of the tunnel for 40 Glock. He's been going through this for a while. Actually facing a good amount of time, something like 30 years. Um, 40 Glock did not plead guilty as TMZ had reported. Basically what happened from my understanding is he took an Alford plea, which is the same thing as pleading no contest. When you take an Alford plea or pleading no contest, you're not admitting any kind of guilt, but you're basically throwing in the towel because there's nothing left for you to do as far as trying to fight the situation. You feel like it's a lose-lose battle, so instead of actually pleading guilty and admitting any kind of guilt, you take an Alford, or in some states, it's no contest, and um, you know that's just what it is. So, 40 Glock now is facing four to 12 months in jail. It's gonna be up to a judge to determine his fate. There was some felonies included that look like they're gonna be dropped, you know, as part of this plea thing, but it's all up to the judge at the end of the day. I'm gonna be honest with you, I was looking at this whole situation with 40 Glock and this case, and I definitely feel like he got railroaded. I really do honestly believe that they fucked him and put him in a position where he had no choice. And more than likely, um, based on the shit that I've seen connected to this case, they really didn't even have much on 40 Glock at all, but they didn't want to let him walk out of this situation. So sometimes this is what the criminal justice system does. They force you into a position where even if they know you didn't do shit, they still ride with it because that's the way the system is designed. So 40 Glock um, under this plea is not going to have to register as a sex offender, which is a good thing for him. Obviously, you don't want to have anything like that attached to your name. But um, again, I think it's fucked up that he's in this situation that he's in. I don't feel it's right. If you look at the facts around the case, um, 40 Glock, really, there's no proof that he really did anything. So very interesting situation with 40 Glock's case. His sentencing is coming up in February. I'll definitely keep you guys in tune when that happens. But again... Um, 40 Glock did not plead guilty. If you see the article from TMZ or any other headlines, he actually took an offered plea. So we'll see how this plays out for 40 Glock. Hopefully they don't try to, you know, railroad him any more than they already have. And they let him get a lenient sentence and put this shit behind him. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, though. I appreciate you watching. Hit the like, subscribe, share. Make sure you leave some feedback. Also ring the notification bell. I appreciate you watching all. Peace.